Hi everyone, my name is Becca and welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time being here. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my Pan Those Eyeshadows update number four. So if you like project pinning content, if you just like makeup content in general, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. I will make sure to pop a picture of my Instagram here on the screen in case you would like to check me out over there. That is typically where I post a lot of the eyeshadow looks that I do with my pan in every palette, with my pan those eyeshadow projects. So if you'd like to check me out over there, feel free to do so. And with that being said, let's jump into this update. So for my pan those eyeshadows project, I have been working on four different shadows. And the reason I'm only working on four is because I am doing a lot of projects, a lot of eyeshadow based projects. And I just wanted to make sure that I was able to realistically keep up with the amount of eyeshadows that I have. I will make sure to link my Pamela's eyeshadows playlist down in the description box in case you would like to check out my previous videos, my previous updates, my intro, everything like that. I will leave my videos from 2020 are in that playlist as well. So if you wanna kind of go back and watch some more, it's a really bingeable playlist, let me tell ya. Um, so that will be available for you, but let's just jump in to this update. I have everything listed on my handy dandy notebook right here so let's get started my first eyeshadow comes from my saharan 2 palette from juvia's place this is the shade aziza this is a yellow based shimmer shade this is what this shade looks like right here this is what i have all over the inner half of my lid i have a very yellow color story right now yellow kind of golden color story so I've been doing this look that you see on my face right now a lot. Um, so I honestly don't know if I'm gonna have any pictures to put up on the screen for you throughout this video because this is literally what I've been doing um, to try to use all these shades. You'll notice that a lot of the shades have a very similar usage and that's because I've literally been using them all together every single time that I use them. So I rolled the shade Aziza in two updates ago. So the first update I had it in, I used it eight times. And this past update, I was able to use it five additional times. So this is what the shade Aziza is looking like right now. You can see that it's starting to have a dip right here in the pan. And I don't know how long it's going to take to hit pan. There isn't pan right now because I've never panned a Juvia's Place shimmer shadow. I do remember hearing from a few people that the big pans, although they are bigger, they are very shallow, so it isn't hard to hit pan. So I'm hopeful that I'll be able to do this by next update. But this is the shade Aziza. It's really pretty. I tried to use it as a highlight, but unfortunately I am too fair and it does not work for me. So I have to stick to either inner corner highlight or all over the lid shade. It's kind of how I've been using it the most. And that is a total of 13 uses in case I didn't say that. The next color comes from my ColourPop So Jaded palette. This is the shade Ametrine, which isn't actually Ametrine, which I believe is a purple. Um, I rearranged my ColourPop So Jaded palette, so all of my shades are in different spots than they're supposed to be, but I, I just call it the shade, whatever I get, um, whatever shadow is in that number slot, that's what I use, and then I call it by the name that it's next to. So the shade Ametrine is a pale yellow shade and it looks like this. So this is what I have in my crease and all over under my lid because Aziza is pretty transparent. Um, there's not a lot of base pigment to it. So I always would like put um, Ametrine all on my lid and then in my crease and then I'll tap Aziza over it. It's been in for two updates as well. So the first update I had used it 10 times and this between this update and last update, I used it additional five times, which brings my total to 15 uses. And this is what the shade Ametrine looks like right now. So as you can see, there is quite a bit of pan happening in this shadow and I am proud to say that I will be able to roll this baby out. So one of the three <laughs> yellow shades will be moving on out of this project. Um, I'm really, I'm really excited about that. I, I don't know how often I've said this in my videos, but I genuinely prefer when my colors have nothing to do with each other. I feel like I get more use out of them. I'm more creative as a person by using those shades when they are not at all related or in the same color story at all. Because this having three yellow kind of shades in this project has pretty much gave me this eye look 15 times. And I don't know, my brain just is like, nah, you know how to do it. It's super quick. Let's just do that. Instead of like trying to venture out and do more fun things, I guess. 
but yeah, I'm really excited to have one of the yellowy toned shades moving out of this project because I, I don't want to do yellow anymore. <laughs> The next shade comes from my Sigma Enchanted palette. This is the shade Sunburst, and this is also a shimmer shade. Um, it's kind of a cream with like a little bit of a yellow tinge to it shimmer shade. So it's not like overtly yellow, but it can pull yellow if it's put with yellow shadows. So this is what the shade Sunburst looks like swatched out right here. So this is the second update that this has, this shadow has been in as well. So the first update I used it 10 times and in this last update also I used it five times bringing my total to 15 uses. This is what the shade Sunburst is looking like right now. So to be super honest with you, it does not look like a lot is happening inside of this pan. Um, something that I'm realizing from using the Sigma shadows because I've never tried to pan a Sigma shadow before. They're very densely pressed. I have not seen a ton of movement. Even like this shadow right here, this cream one, which isn't in a project, but I've been using this to set some of my stickier eye primers and it doesn't even really look like I've used it. Like if I were to look at this, I'd be like, oh yeah, this shade's brand new. And to be honest, I've probably used this shade like 12 times to set my eyes and I would have never, I would never know. So I am not sure how long this shadow is going to take to use. I have a rule in place where once I get to 15 uses, I am able to roll shadows out. I would like to hit pen on this ideally though, so I wanna keep this in for one more update and see if I can get a better dent in it to see how long it's gonna take me to hit pan. And if it gets a little too overwhelming, then I might roll it out. But as of right now, my goal is still to try to hit pan on the shadow. So I am gonna leave it in for, for one more update and see how it goes. And if it's like, I'm not making any kind of progress, I probably will end up rolling it out so that I can roll something else in where I am able to make a little bit more progress. And then lastly, we have a shadow from my ColourPop Making Mauves palette. This is the shade Solitaire. I rolled this in last update and it is a like mauve matte shade. So this is what the shade Solitaire looks like right here. Just like I said, mauve matte shade, nothing crazy, pretty standard. Um, I have pretty much been using this shadow as like a crease and all over the lid shade and been doing like a one shadow look. And then on an occasion, if I want a sparkle, I've actually been, I've been using my Jaclyn highlight in the shade Iced all over the lid just to give it a little bit of something. And then when you, when, when the light hits this, um, highlight, it actually glitters a little bit. So I've been using that in combination with the shade Solitaire. I... I'm not, I'm going to be really honest. I don't know if I have a, a picture of the look and if I do, I'll pop it on the screen, but I didn't do a good job this month taking photos of the looks that I had done, um, unless they were something that I posted on Instagram. So, but really it was just this shade all over the lid. Um, and in the crease as like a one shadow kind of one and done kind of thing. And then I would put like a black liner on, nothing fancy. But anyway, this is what, so I did use this seven times. So this is what the shadow is looking like right now. You can see there is a quite a dip forming in this shadow. I'm hopeful that, you know, 10 more, 10 to 15 more uses on this shade will get me panned because like I said, there is a lot of kick up and seven uses has a pretty good dip going on right now. So pretty hopeful that I'll be able to use this up soon. I love this palette and I'm excited to get more use out of it. So with all that being said, I will be rolling out one shade in this project. So I am going to pull up my handy dandy spreadsheet on my phone so that we can regenerate a new shade. So my top two rows in my spreadsheet are actually just like titles. So I'm going to be putting my random generator app from three to 355. So that way I know exactly what shadow will be pulled. Um, and then we can go from there. So I'm changing my random spreadsheet from three to 355. I'll make sure my brightness is turned all the way up so you can see it. And then we will be rolling for a shadow. Maybe. Okay. So 328 and then just so you guys know all of my shadows are in alphabetical order so I these I have no idea what this could be I know it'll be lower in the alphabet but that's about all I know so it was 328 so 328 is <laughs> okay this is the third shadow that has come from this palette I don't understand okay so 328 is 
328 is tongue-tied from my Making Mauves palette. I don't know what is going on. I don't know why this palette keeps deciding it wants to pop up in these projects. So Tongue Tied actually looks like it's a very similar shade to Solitaire. So I'm going to swatch them next to each other. Yeah. They're like literally the same shade. They're barely off. So this is Solitaire and then this is Tongue Tied. I, I'm going to re-roll. I don't want to be working on the same exact shade or the shade super similar because obviously one of them is going to get neglected. And I just don't want to be working on shades that are that close. So I'm going to re-roll. I, I, yeah, like I don't want to do that. Um, so let me do it one more time. Okay. So we have the shade 33. So let's pull that back up. I'm glad I looked at that before I went to grab it and turned off my spreadsheet. The shade 33 once again is a very similar shade. It is this shade right here which those three, I don't know how this is pulling up on camera, but those three shades all look so similar. Um, it is the shade of Blood Orange from my Sydney Grace Summer Days palette, and it doesn't look like it is in pan. It looks a lot darker in the pan, but swatched out, it looks barely darker than these two shades right here. So <laughs> I'm gonna re-roll again. I'm so sorry, guys. Well, we're just gonna say third time's the charm and hope we don't get the same colored shadow again. <laughs> this has never happened before and I just don't wanna use the same color twice. So let me pull them one more time. Let's shake to auto-generate and we have 314. If this is the same color, I give up and we're only gonna be working on three shades moving forward because I just, I just can't. Okay, 314 is the shade Strip from my Laurelie Los Angeles Nudie Patootie palette. You guys, this is a mauve tone palette. Let's see what shade this is. So this is the Laurelie Los Angeles Nudie Patootie. Ah, oh, okay, thank goodness. Except it is honestly a very similar shade to the shade we're rolling out. I, you know, this is life. I don't understand. We're just gonna do it. <laughs> Who didn't want another yellow? I didn't want another yellow. So guess what I got? Another yellow. Okay, so this is the shade strip right here from the Laurely Los Angeles Nudie Patootie palette. And this is the shade strip swatched out. So it is a yellow and it is what I'm going to be using. And we are back on the yellow train. So that's fun. But if you've never seen the Laurely Los Angeles Nudie Patootie palette, this is what it looks like. And I love it. I love it so much. It's such a great palette. And um, I think Strip is one of the shades that I don't have a ton of use on. So that's good, right? Like, that's good. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm feeling a little defeated by the amount of shades I had to swatch and pull in. The fact that I got another yellow again is not something that I'm super excited about. And I am turning super negative and I'm so sorry. Today is just not my day apparently. <laughs> so. We're leaving it at that. We're calling this good. I will be working on the Nudie Patootie palette, the Saharan 2 palette from Juvia's Place, the Making Moss palette from ColourPop, and then the Sigma Enchanted. So these are the four palettes that I will be working on moving forward. These are the four palettes I will be working on and I don't really have much else to say. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. I'm sorry that my mood has been kind of weird in this video. I'm starting to crash today and uh, also they were all the same and then I got a yellow. Yay. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, thank you and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.